Hello, and today I've got another Drupal tutorial for you guys talking about how to integrate the awesome power of Google Maps into your Drupal website so people can in, in, input location data into your Drupal website and have it interpreted as a Google Maps so that people can use all the awesome power of Go Google Maps to do things like find directions, mouse around the map, get a closer look, zoom in, zoom out, and all that kind of stuff. So, we're going to show you how to take data directly from Drupal and have it automatically passed through Google Maps and have the data interpreted as Google Maps. So, very, very cool integration stuff. Um, so, there's a couple of things we're going to need. We're going to need... The GMAP, mod the GMAP module, there's also a GMAPS module, but for this we need the GMAP module. We also need the, the location module, and uh, we need a copy of Drupal, obviously, <laughs> and we also need something called a Google Maps API key, um, which you can obtain from co code.google.com slash API slash maps, and this will give our Drupal website access to the leverage the Google Maps surface. So you need to get an API key that is specific to, to your domain because it only works on your domain. Um, so you need to make sure you've read and conform to all of those things and then put in your demo your domain name without the www which which is why I'm working live today and then, then you're just gonna ge generate API key once you've accepted the term and then you're just gonna hit generate and then what you're gonna get is a whole bunch of stuff whoa what you're gonna want is the first thing um, that is listed which is simply your API key you're gonna copy that when we're now ready to go back into Drupal um, so as I said there's a clean install with only the modules that we need um, so we're just gonna go to administer site building modules and um, we're going to scroll way down and these are the modules that we're going to enable we're going to enable the gmap lo location module which is um, going to tell us that we need to enable some other modules it's going to tell us that we need to enable G GMAP and location. So we're just gonna hit continue. The ne the next thing we're gonna do is for our example we're gonna uh, display data from fictitious fictitious events as to where it is I'm gonna I'm gonna display it as maps. So um to do that we're also gonna wanna go come down here and enable node locations hit save configurations um, now we're going to want to go into our content management content types yeah and we're gonna want to um, create a new content type we're gonna want to call it event or whatever you want to call your um, particular
type. Um, and then we're gonna wanna set some things. So we're gonna come down to the location information. We're gonna expand that. I'm gonna say um the maximum number of net locations is one. The minimum is one. Um, and the maximum that can be entered is one. So we're gonna say all the user can enter is one location, but they have to enter in one location is basically what we're saying. And we're also gonna to wanna to, um check the collection settings to make sure what we wanna collect. So I only want I you have to have the coordinate shoes enabled for Google Maps, but all this other stuff is is fine f for me. Um, so you're gonna go down to the display settings and choose what you want to be displayed in the user's profile. Whether we're then gonna save our content type. Um. So we now got a skeleton content type to use with this um, we're now going to go into our site configuration uh, I'm going to configure gmaps location we're going to want to set some basic things about how the maps are going to look and how it's going to all work once we've done that we're going to want to go into the gmap screen and this is where we're going to put in our API key you notice it says um, the website needs a different Google Maps API key and then it says where you can generate a new key but we've already been there and we've got the um, we've got the thing on our clipboard so we're just going to go over there and hit paste you're going to set up what you want for these So we set that up. The last thing we're gonna do is go into location. I'm gonna say where we want our location set, but we're gonna also say use um a Google Map to set latitude and longitude values. This is gonna um uh, allow us us to select where we are. And I'm just leverage the full power. You're also going to want to go into map links and um, choose which countries you want maps to, to link for. Um, obviously, a lot of countries aren't supported because it's a um, Drupal module and for maintenance is voluntary but, but there we go so we're just gonna um hit okay to all of that and then hopefully we're going to create content event how we Hit our location sub menu. We have um, a Google Map from which we can choose our locations. So I can say I'm somewhere in Saudi Arabia and I can pinpoint a specific place for this meant to be held and it'll um, give me a pinpoint marker there. I can move it around. Put it there. 
move them up around and the values will change as they are. So we're just going to, we've already used this to select our location. So we're just going to go down here and hit save. And then we can, we've got this um, node type and we've got this location and we can go over and hit C map and it will automatically populate a Google map for us. So thank you for watching this video. Um, if you want more great content like this, please feel free to go over and visit my blog at www.technobuffalo dot com forward slash future tech if you like if you like this video please subscribe and tell me what you thought of this thanks for watching